Hey guys, today I'm gonna to film my finale for my 12 pans of Christmas. I loved doing this pan project as a collab with all those YouTubers, all those Instagrammers. Honestly, like I found a bunch of YouTubers that I'm loving and obsessed with watching now. And I found like four or five different Instagrammers that I like follow their page like religiously. Like I wanna see what they're using up, what they've used, what they love, what they don't love. And honestly, I take a lot of advice from people that, you know, use up a product and say, this product was shit, or say, wow, this product was so good, I am gonna put it aside because I need to buy another one because it was so good. So honestly, project pans are really, really helpful, helpful for me as a YouTuber personally and as just a consumer in general and a lover of makeup. So I'm gonna do my finale for my 12 pans of Christmas. I didn't do as well as a lot of other people did, but I do feel like I learned a lot during this short little stint and I'm pretty proud of myself of the things that I did accomplish. So let's get right on into it. I'm gonna start with the things that I've used up and then I'm gonna go to the things that I didn't quite get finished. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I used up were these three masks. Now in my update video, ew. In my update video, I pretty much said that I would be using up these masks and I did and I'm really happy. I only got two uses out of the green mask, which was my least favorite mask. I got about five uses out of the orange mask, which was the exfoliating one, and I loved it. Seriously, such a good mask. I'm gonna be purchase purchasing this when I need another good mask. And then I got about two and a half uses out of the black mask, and this was my second favorite mask, but I didn't really feel like it did much for me, but it did more than the green mask did, so. I do have a full size of the green mask that I want to use, but I think I'm gonna try it in the summertime and see if that works a little bit better for me. So I did finish up these three products and I counted this as one. I also finished up the Glam Glow mask. This was really cool. It was like literally like silver on my face. Like whenever I wore it, I thought of myself as the Tin Man from, what is it called? Uh, Over the Rainbow. God, what is that? Dorothy, why can I not think of the movie name? Whatever, anyways, I felt like the Tin Man from, oh, The Wizard of Oz, that's what it's called, The Wizard of Oz. And I kind of liked it, but then I didn't feel like it did anything for me. It was cool that it peeled off. My son actually really enjoyed peeling it off my face, but I didn't feel like it did anything, so I won't be repurchasing that. Then I finished up the Milani Lip Oil in the shade 02, and it was like the lemon scent. This, I swear, it dried out my lips more than anything. I, <laughs> it broke, first of all, like the fourth time I used it, and I just honestly would never buy this again because it was just that terrible. And it gets everything sticky, like I can't wait to throw it away. Ugh. Then I used up this Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. I really did enjoy this. I was using this during the day before my makeup or just after my shower or after cleansing my face. I would put this on and it was really, really nice and very lightweight for the daytime so I didn't get too oily or greasy during the day. So I probably won't purchase this unless there's a really good deal on it, but I would definitely love using another sample. So. There's that. Lashcraft Length and Volume Mascara from Sephora. I love this mascara, but it started drying out. So I put on a, um, I put a couple eye drops in there and it made it last for about another two weeks. But honestly, by the end of this, it was getting so clumpy and just dry on my eyelashes and it was like crusting off so I knew it was done. So I did enjoy this. I do have a full size that I am very excited to open and use. I also finished the Burt's Bees Honey and Grapeseed Hand Cream. I actually found this at Target and it was like seven bucks, I think. And this is the full size. I told you guys in the beginning, like, let me see if I can get, I can't get any more out of it. I told you guys in the beginning that I really did like it, but it was very weird. I like the smell, it's just very different. It's a very lightweight, but kind of oily consistency. It's interesting, but after that little bit of oiliness goes away, it's so moisturizing on my hands. I was really, really missing this at night because I would put this on every single night before bed. And then, 
I found a different hand cream from one of my subscription boxes that I've been using and loving. So I will repurchase this in the future when I need another hand cream, but right now I have tons to use up, but this is definitely on my list to repurchase. So those were all the products that I was able to finish up. I finished up one, two, three, four, five, six products out of my 12, which I'm actually very happy about that because I put in some harder project products, I feel, onto the products that I didn't finish. <laughs> the first one is the Trust Fawn Beauty That Glow Though. I was trying to use this on my collarbones and I tried to use it on my face and I also tried to use it as an eyeshadow primer. It, it just doesn't, it's not the right color for me, it's not the right consistency, it's too gritty, I just don't like it. So I'm going to pass this along to a friend. It's completely, almost completely full. Just the few times that I used it to try it out and I just, it's not my, it's not the product for me. So this one I obviously didn't finish and I'm going to just get it out of my collection. Then I have this Milk Makeup Leak, <laughs> Leak? That was Lip and Cheek in the same word, Leak. <laughs> Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Perk, I'm pretty sure. And honestly, I tried to use this as a cheek tint on my no makeup makeup days and it just was no good. Like it just the wrong color for me. And then I tried to use it as a lip gloss quite a few times and it's not moisturizing. It just kind of like sat on top of my lips and it really enhanced my dry spots on my lips. So I'm going to just throw this away. It's no good for me and I don't think I'm going to pass it along to a friend just because it's getting older and it's not much product in there. So I'm just going to throw this away and get it out of my collection. Then a product that I feel like I got a lot of good progress on is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I'm shaking it. I probably have about four more uses left in it. It's like down here because I have my first mark here and then my second mark is right here and then honestly like it's really really low. I didn't actually use it today yet because I'm not sure if I'm like totally happy with this makeup look for the day so I might be changing it up a little bit but yeah I really do love this. I already purchased two backups of this for the or at the Sephora VIB sale love this i couldn't recommend it enough it's really really great and i'm definitely going to be using it up the next product i have is the too faced melted liquefied Longwear lipstick and this is in the shade fig i wore this quite a few times in my videos and honestly i just i really really like this color it's had better days <laughs> But it's a really, really excellent color. I don't have it on today because I wasn't really feeling the dark lip, but it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm really happy actually to have it still in my collection and it's not breaking down at all. The scent is still perfectly good. I am gonna keep using this until I use it up, but I love this and I will definitely put this on my list to repurchase once I have it completely finished. I love it love this. The next thing I have is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in the shade Wonder. I used it a lot in the beginning, like a lot. And then I just, I kind of got sick of using it. So it's not my favorite red shade. It's not my favorite formula. It rubs off very, very easily. Like I blow my nose and like the tissue gets a little bit on my lips and it rubs right off. So honestly, I've had this for so long. Like literally this was in my very first Ipsy subscription box. That was forever ago. So I think I'm gonna throw this away just because it's broken. The scent isn't changing at all. It's The scent is still fine, but honestly, I've had it so long. I just, I don't want to use it anymore. I have other reds that I really, really like, and I think I'm done with this one. Then I have my <sighs> ColourPop Eyeliner and Swerve. I just, honestly, I put this in here because I really wanted to use eyeliner more. It broke like the second time I used it, which is fine. All the ColourPop eyeliners do. You can still make it work and use it fine. But I just really, I don't wear eyeliner and I put this in here to try to force myself to use eyeliner more. And I just, I don't like eyeliner on me a lot of the times. Sometimes I do, I'm really into it. I have like a really, really simple look so the eyeliner really makes it look better. But honestly, I love this. I'm gonna keep it in my collection, but I just, I don't wear eyeliner as much as I think I'm going to, if that makes any sense. Also, eyeliner, 
This one doesn't irritate my eyes as much, but almost all eyeliners irritate my eyes just because my eyes are very, very sensitive. So I love it. I'm not going to repurchase it anytime soon just because I already have one, but yeah, I'm going to keep using it and I didn't make much progress on that at all, to be totally honest. I used it six or seven times and it doesn't look like I used it at all, so there's that. The very last product is my ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Amaze. I use this all the time. I love this shade. Like. When I'm done using it and when I completely use it up, I'm going to have to buy another one because this looks perfect over any eye look, any, well, any neutral eye look. So basically like today, I should have put it on today, but I just didn't because I was just going for a super simple look. But basically anytime I would do an eye look and it would be just a neutral whatever eye look and I'd be like, hmm, it's kind of missing something. I would put this on and it was just like, whoa, perfect. That was exactly what it was missing. So I was really, really happy to have this in my project and I got quite a bit of uses out of this, honestly. Like I probably used it 20 times at least because I almost wore it every single day. And I just love this. I'm really happy to still have it in my collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to do this project or collab with all these lovely ladies again next year. Well, I guess this year at the end of the year <laughs> for a, another go at the 12 pans of Christmas. And I had so much fun doing this. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching these. And I am probably going to go and binge watch everybody else's finales because I've been so busy I haven't been able to yet. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed watching me use up some of these products. I'm pretty proud of myself, honestly, with the progress I did make, but I think I could have done better if I put in a few different products. So I'm gonna think about that next year. Make sure to stay tuned for my year-long project pan, my project Use It Up, coming up soon. I'm gonna try to post these on the same day, so We'll see about that just so that we can kind of get things going for this new year. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I couldn't say more better things about it. More better? That's not a thing. Anyways. My husband just flushed the toilet. The bathroom's like on the next wall. Thanks, honey. and a wife.